Hi all, how are you? This is Elfie from My Guy Needs and this is a knitting podcast. Mainly knitting, I talk about other stuff, but mainly knitting and some crochet too. And I'm coming to you from El Salvador in Central America. And today is October 7th, 2021. And it's a rainy day. It's about to go dark here. And uh, it's the time that I have to record. So I hope you don't mind. We have some artificial light here to help us. And uh, I apologize if you hear any notifications. I have a new tablet, thank God. I'm so happy about it. And uh, I don't know how to turn them off yet. So yeah, I'm here. I have I haven't been here for a long time. Uh, last time I was here, I think it was in June before my trip to the U.S. I spent one month in the U.S. with my son visiting my dad and family, and I was working there because I work with my stepmom and my dad on the I do the marketing social media for their for their family business and now I have started to work on sales for the flower shop and um, we only do weddings so it's basically events and I'm very happy about it I've been working on that I also met with a customer I used to have she was my customer before but she had stopped for different reasons so we met again we talked and uh, she reestablished um, the business relationship with me and also I uh, got a new customer that I met during my stay and I'm working with her as well and also I started a new business I hope it works out. It's uh, I cannot show you yet, but I will eventually. And uh, it's related to weddings, and I'm working on that. I am uploading product to Instagram, and it's directed to the U.S. market. Because in these countries, it's like very small. People don't really appreciate the handmade, as I have told you before. So, and I know a lot of the wedding planners in the Dallas Metroplex area already, but I am trying to reach other planners and brides to be in different cities and states in the U.S. So, I have been um, putting a lot of time on that, and also I have been working on uh, consecutive translations. I did a gig for a company that that was a job that really fell onto my lap and I'm very thankful about it and I even took my son because they needed more interpreters and it was something really nice really rewarding that I I really didn't expect it was going to be like that and I didn't even know I was good at doing that and I really enjoyed it I really like it I think it's something that I would want to do again in the future and um yeah it was a discovery for me that the job and i think these times are of uh, changes i am seeing a lot of people in the industry changing uh endeavors and closing businesses and opening new ones and um yeah, as you saw, Estas Trico was sold and Lisa and Melissa are on to new endeavors. And I've seen other people who are going to start carrying each yarn. Uh, I don't know, Julie Hoover and other people are going to go into the yarn industry. And I totally understand why. Uh, and also I think not only because these pattern making uh, thing, it's more difficult I believe I'm not saying that the dyeing is not difficult I'm saying it's harder to reach uh, an amount of uh, income that will let you live off that um, but yeah I think also people are wanting to have different experiences and like I said you, sometimes you don't even know you're gonna like something until you do it 
and sometimes you just need a chance to try it right so very interesting what's going on in the world right now uh yeah so a lot has happened since we last uh, saw each other and i take this opportunity to ask you to please like the video please comment i was pondering the other day if i wanted to keep on doing this like doing the podcast all together or uh, recording in English because I have more viewers in Spanish and I totally understand why I am not a native speaker I don't live in the States I know you watch a lot of people that don't live in the States and I try for my accent to be as smooth as possible but it will never be like someone who was born and raised there um, Maybe that's a factor, I don't know. Uh, but the thing is that in the end, it doesn't matter how many people follow me or don't follow me, but I, um, I am looking for interaction. If there's no commenting, there's no interaction, then, you know, it's like me talking to a wall. So, um, yeah, I, if, you, if you'd like, I would love to hear from you. I would love to hear comments or just say hi. Uh, just to, you know, know that there's someone else who is listening to what you're saying and that those people like what you like. Yeah. So, yeah, I am, I am doing a lot of things. I have done a lot of things. And uh, when I came back, from my trip, I, I encountered the news that my mom decided to sell her house. I was in shock and in awe, and there have been a lot of issues and situations um, that came out of that decision. Not pleasant ones, but in the end, the, the thing is that I am not living with my mother anymore. I am living with my son and my dog that you heard barking. She's always barking, and uh, but she barks less here. Uh, we are in an apartment building. Uh, it's a new building. It's beautiful. Uh, it's mostly empty, but people are moving in, and we have some neighbors that are moving in today to our floor, so that's why she's barking. She hears them in the hallway, and. Uh, it's beautiful. I will show you in the intro uh, some pictures of the view and I love it. I'm very happy here and um, I know that we are all going through different situations and uh, I just want to say that despite those situations we have the power to decide how we want to live and uh, we have the power to decide that we want to be happy so i have decided that and i will keep on working every day on being happy and on enjoying my life despite any unpleasant situation or um, difficulties that i might encounter so I wanted to let you know that and uh, I am well, I just couldn't record sooner. Also I've had a little hiccup with my surgery because I was bleeding, I was doing yoga and uh, using my exercise machine and I started bleeding, not much, but you know, spotting and I went to the, to the gynecologist and she said it was some kind of uh, scar tissue up there inside so she's giving me some medication and i am on that medication until the 19th of october she will see me then and i hope that thing is gone because otherwise she's gonna have to do like a procedure to fix that there and you know it's gonna hurt and i don't want to go through any more pain 
so hopefully it will get resolved with the mess. And uh, aside from that, ah, it was my birthday and my beautiful classmates from school, uh, knowing that I would spend it alone, well with my son, with my heart and joy and life and pride, um, that I wasn't going to do anything special, you know, I just ordered a cake and uh, one of my favorite cakes, a chocolate cake that my friend, one of my friends from school and her daughter, they make these delicious cakes. So I ordered the cake from her and when she came to deliver it, she told me it's already paid and I was like, who paid for it? And she said, uh, Bea. So Bea, my friend who lives in LA, she has paid for the cake. I, I really truly love my friends and they are going, many of them, through so much shit, you know, like, I'm sorry to say that word, but, yeah, and I am really praying for them and holding them in my thoughts, so that I hope they are okay, in time, and whatever is happening to me, it's nothing compared to what's going on with them, so, and still, they are willing to give, and not only thanks, but you know, time, love, appreciation, those are the things that you truly need. And none of us are perfect. Of course, I have tantrums, I have outbursts, and I lose my temper sometimes, and you know, I think nobody's perfect. But the fact that we are tolerant with others and that we express our charity in different ways and not not only with people who have nothing of course with them but with people with whom we share every day those are the first persons to whom we have to show our goodwill so one of them called me and said i want i want to treat you to dinner on your birthday and I said, yeah, sure, that, that'll be nice. And I had not seen her in a long time due to this world thing situation that we're still in. And uh, so I said, yes, because I'm, I, I'm sorry for what I'm going to say, but I am at times overwhelmed, as I said, and sick and tired of this reality. Like, it's shocking. So, yeah. So I said yes, so she picked me up, and when we got to the restaurant, all of my friends from school were there. And they had this long table with wine and pizzas and salads, and it's an Italian restaurant. And uh, they had uh, balloons, and it was awesome. I was so, so happy to see them, and I felt so special and so loved. And they gave me these beautiful earrings. I really love them. And they also gave me a certificate to go get my nails done. So I am very, very happy. And I, I feel such appreciation from my friends. And we've been together our whole life. Um, we say we are soul friends. Because uh, we grew up together. And it's raining. And I don't know if I'm going to have to close the window. But, yeah, uh, we grew up together. We've been classmates our whole life. So, yeah, it was great. And uh, about meeting, I have been being meeting for me, like, a lot, because I have been commission meeting. But before I left, I showed you my uh, flower bomb. And the only thing that I did in the States was to finish applying the beads to the center of each flower. You cannot like really see them, but they're there. And it took me like a lot of hours, long hours at night doing that in the States. And you know, it was kind of meditative and I enjoyed it. And I think uh, in person, the, the shine that it gives to the flowers is great and I have worn it a few times and I love it it's just too short I cannot wear it if it's not a high-waisted um, skirt or jeans 
I feel uncomfortable when I lift my my arms because my belly button ever since I got the surgery I I I don't remember. Yeah, it was the surgery the to sterilize myself. Uh ever since my belly button is like crooked. I don't know. But you know, we're well women or even men who have had surgery it's like i know doctors try to leave us the way they found us but sometimes that doesn't happen and so i don't feel comfortable like lifting my arms and seeing my crooked uh, belly button so uh but yeah i like it a lot and this is my luna by Spatrico by melissa I finished it to go on my trip. I showed it to you, but it wasn't finished. I like the length. What I don't like is that, you know, every every round yoke sweater, when you lift your arms, it goes up a bit, but it's okay. So, um, this is cotton. So, it's okay. It's a light sweater for this rainy weather. I'm sorry if you're hearing the rain. There's, there's, uh, thunderstorm it's a thunderstorm there's lightning so yeah but I need to leave the window open so I really like this sweater I didn't really like the fact that the you can see the increases so much I mean it's okay but I thought it was because of the yarn but no I saw a lot of pictures on Instagram and it's not because of the yarn I took um, class with Paula Pereira. <gasps> Paula, if you're watching, thank you, friend. Uh, she's a Brazilian designer. She's my friend. I love her. And she gave me a treat class. She doesn't want me to call it a class, but, you know, it was a chat between friends. And it was me and her friend, Anna. She's from Brazil, but she lives in Boston, and she has a store there, a yarn store. So she gave us a design class and I really truly enjoyed this. I took notes and I asked about this and she gave me some tips so I intend to putting that into practice in the future, in the near future. And uh, the only thing that I didn't do right with this is that I wanted to wear it for the day I was going to travel. Usually I get obsessed with that idea of having things ready on a certain date and you know, I shouldn't do that and I am planning on not doing that anymore, but I did. So the uh, sleeves are too short. Look, look where's my, my wrist bone. You can see it. So they're too short. And also the cuffs, I didn't want to have a straight sleeve. So I just decreased here like crazy the night before I was leaving. I didn't pay attention to how many I was decreasing, I didn't decrease enough, I had to decrease like in different rounds. And this one turned out okay, but this one, it was too tight, tighter than this one, and also I twisted it. Look, so it's twisted. You know, a lot of people think that people who need a lot or people who need design never make mistakes. Of course we make mistakes. So, yeah. And it's gonna stay like that because I am not ripping it back. So, you know, it's okay. I like it, I am enjoying it, and that's it. But I'm, I don't want to put that pressure on myself anymore of trying to do things in one night unless it's a made to order. And even then, I wanna have enough time to finish what I have been commissioned with. So that's the story about the Luna and also I wanted to tell you that I have been commissioned knitting and crocheting a lot. I did some posters that I didn't mention in my Spanish version that I recorded first before this one. I did uh, some bags for the store in Dallas, the Salvadorian girl that I visited during my stay there, I also visited her to see if she could buy my products and she did she just bought five Eda bags from Paula Strict there's a free pattern from We Are Knitters 
uh, that's a perfect market bag. It's beautiful. You can use it for market or for whatever, for the beach or just an everyday bag. I really like it. It's a net bag. And she picked some really cool colors. You can see them on my Instagram. And they're already in Dallas, so I hope they sell very, very fast. She has customers in New York, in Florida, and in LA, I think. So, um, yeah, she is very nice, and I hope that I can keep on doing business with her. Also, one of my students, uh, former students, uh, commissioned me with some blouses. I had to need six of them right um, when I came back from my trip, so I was pretty busy needing that. And uh, after another student of mine, her son was going to go to Spain and she was needing a sweater for him and she had to install a zipper here for the clothing and it was like a mid turtleneck sweater. So yeah, I had to finish it for her as a commission, so that took me another two weeks. And uh, then another lady ordered posters, so you know, I had been knitting or crochet, crochet it in, but not for me. And I recently, and also I have been um, sewing for my other business that I have started, so yeah. That's where my time has gone, and um, also in the moving, it's crazy, you know, to move to a different place and to uh, arrange everything. Right now, I can tell you that I have finished most here in the craft room, that it was the last thing that I did, most of it, but not all. And I still have things in the, there's a small warehouse outside of the apartment that belongs to this apartment that I was so happy to have. It's a room, a locked room where you can put stuff that you don't use. So yeah, I still have things there and I have to go through them. I went through them, some of them, one weekend, but I haven't been back and I know I have to, but you know, I'll do it when, when I feel like it. So there are a lot of things there that I put in boxes when I moved to my mom in April 2000, to my mom's house in April 2019. 2019 seems like so long ago, but it, it isn't so long ago. It's like two years ago. But still, I had forgotten I had those things. And I have to check them and go through them and see what I want to keep, what I want to toss, what I want to give away, what I want to sell. We'll see. And I have here what I am currently working on, this bag. I am in love with this. I had this uh, yarn in my stash since 2018. I bought it in Bogota, in Colombia, and it's made in Spain. It's 70% polyester and 30% viscose. And it's like paper, but it's very strong. And this is crochet, but here I did some uh, knitting, and the handles are knitted. I haven't attached them properly. And this is crochet. And uh, I did a small bag inside, and I did a hook for the key. Mm -hmm. And I did sod it to stand and not get dirty when you put it on surfaces and I'm going to use like a plastic um, insert um, I am going to uh, cover it with fabric and I am going to attach it with a um, pressure button uh, to the bottom so that it keeps the shape and it's nice. And I'm so, so happy with it. I love it. I'm very happy. And I want to finish it. I am um, planning on offering a class on making this bag. This yarn in the States, you can find it from Lion Brand. I don't remember the name right now. I don't know if it was Rewind. I'm not sure. But yeah, it's 
70% polyester, 30% viscose. I could do it in a different material, but I really would like to try this one. I cannot find it here, so if I give that class, I'm going to have to order it for my students. Yeah, I could also give the class online. So I'm thinking if someone is interested, I might do that too. And in that case, I won't include the value of the material and people can get it. Because in the States or anywhere else in the world or in most countries, I'm sorry, I'm going to have a sip of water. So, um, in most countries you can order things and they will get to your house. Not like here, right? Um, so, yeah. Also, I bought needles. I bought mostly Chiaou Red Lace, my favorite, as you know, but mostly I bought fours. Yes, I think I bought more fours. Yeah, I don't even remember, but I have many now, and I'm happy because, you know, I felt before like I had a shortage. Imagine I was needing six six stops at the same time, so I needed my needles uh, free, so I bought one of these, I didn't have it, imagine I didn't have it, so, my favorite needle to knit on is 4 millimeters, a US 6, yeah, let me see, because I have here one, yeah, US 6, 4 millimeters, and the US 8, I think, that is 5 millimeters, those are my favorite but my favorite favorite is four millimeters. And the three millimeters I use them sporadically for some reading or edges, but it's not my favorite. It's like they're too thin, my hands hurt, and I don't like that. So I try to buy yarn that with my gauge will be okay in a four millimeter or five millimeter needle. Usually that's fingering, light fingering, or sport. Um, sport for the fives and fingering and light fingering for the fours. And I bought this one that is neat red and I bought it in 30 centimeters because I want it for small circumferences. One day I will try talk. I have promised I will, so I will. Even though uh, here I, I know I won't wear them as often, but when I travel, you know, my son wants to study abroad and he's looking for scholarship opportunities. So he's asked me to need him a hat and I have not, but um, from now until the time he leaves, I plan on needing him like a sweater and a beanie, a scarf, like for him to take his thing, you know, and for him to remember his mom. So I'm going to show you what I bought during my trip. Uh, and also, I I think I showed you this, right? This stuff. I haven't finished it. I don't know when I'm going to finish it. And yeah, I will finish it. I was planning on using it when I go to the beach, but maybe I will I will attach a fabric peplum here. I'm not sure yet. Maybe I will because I want to wear it more in the city. And if I don't, this is like a bustier. I or you know, a lot of people tell me Oh, you are so skinny, it looks great on you, but it will be shorter than the flower bomb. So, no, I won't. So, I'm going to either attach a longer weaving to it, or I'm going to um, sew a peplum. And the back is practically backless, so it will have like elastic there. So, I don't know. It needs time, and right now I am focused on other things, so it's there for the time being. And, uh, yeah, I have my box here. I bought this box. I went to Walmart one day, like two days before I was traveling back, 
because I had two duffel bags. I don't like hard suitcases anymore. They're too big. They're too heavy. Um, no, so I only have carry-ons and uh, duffel bags. And I couldn't fit everything into the duffel bags. They were over 50 pounds already. So I had to borrow a suitcase from my auntie that she had left there. And she's going back next Monday. Yeah, on Monday she's going back to visit my dad. So I brought the suitcase. Of course I had to pay for three suitcases coming back. And we have two carry-ons, two personal items. I mean, I had my backpack full, my personal item, my laptop, my tablet, all my other electronic cables and stuff, and some yarn, I think. No, 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 I didn't have yarn there. My carry-on was only yarn, and some shoes. And my son had his carry-on, his backpack, we had two duffel bags, and the other bag that I brought. It was almost empty, but I had to bring it because I, I couldn't leave the things that were in there. And I, I regret that I didn't know that before because I was packing the night before I shouldn't have done that. I was packing the night before. I'm sorry. I feel very thirsty. So I had, I would have bought more sausage from Aldi or from Sprouts. I found some organic sausage. So I brought some. Obviously it's gone, long gone. And I miss it. <laughs> so I would have bought more of that stuff if I had known I had had I known I had more space. Anyway, so I had a great time and I bought I we went to I don't remember at Kroger, I think it was. Yeah, I think it was at Kroger. I don't remember, but it was a supermarket. So they were selling books, and I got this one. Uh, I have read only that part. I have started my second novel. I can't say I have started because I have uh, written almost one chapter already. But I have not read. Look, that's what I what I read. It's good. This helps me a lot because right now, I, I don't know what happened to the lightning, but yeah, this happens, this helps me a lot. It's, oh my god, the, the light is weird right now. Let me touch the screen a bit. I don't know what's going on, but anyway, yeah. I hope it, it fixes itself. Well, thing is that this helps me a lot because I want to escape reality you know I just sometimes I just want to go to a place of fantasy and not think about what's going on in the world to tell you the truth so um, this is Bridgerton I had not seen Bridgerton I just watched it like I don't know like two months ago I really loved it and this is the second story Penelope and Colin and I, I think that's the second story that's going to come onto Netflix. And I, I have not read it yet, but I will. I normally hate when I read something and then I watch the movie. And I normally don't like the movie. But I'm sorry about the lightning. I don't know why we're getting bad. Maybe it's because it's dark and the light here is yellow. So I'm sorry about that. Um, anyway thing is that normally I hate it but it doesn't matter I will I will cope with it um, yeah I'm gonna show you what I bought I bought these to clean my sewing machine I bought these that is very useful when you're needing color work and uh, when I um, deliver needed goods like garments for extra yarn and I bought these uh, for my pin, tomato pin cushion with a strawberry. Look at that, so beautiful. I thought of making one, but that was not going to happen, so I bought it. Uh, my dad gave me this, and it's great. 
is a light. Look at that. Great. I'm not going to turn it on because I turn it on in the Spanish version. It looks terrible on the screen. You can turn it down and you action here. So fantastic. And um, I bought a bucket holders and I bought rose gold tape and I bought gold tape and I oh, like that. <laughs> I got um, supper for the needle and I went to Joanne's and I got some patterns. They were on sale. I got this one from Simplicity. Pants and shorts. I have not done any sewing. Look at this. All these clothes, I need something to fix on them. And I have. So they're there. And, um,. If I put them back in the closet, it's never gonna happen. I get this one. I like the bodysuit a lot. I wanna make that one. And the skirt, you know, it's a classic. I love that shape, the pencil skirt. It's it's really easy and helpful. And I got these dresses. They're so nice. I love uh, Marilisa Lugo from A Girl Meets Yarn. She's always um, using upper parts of one uh, pattern and mixing it with the lower part of another pattern and I think that's really cute and it uh, enables our cre creativity so it's great so I'm planning on doing that and I got yarn I'm gonna show you my yarn now. I got from Chelsea Locks. I got this set. It's the cobblestone. I think it's this one, right? Look at that. So gorgeous. I love this texture. I had needed with this when I was a teenager. Like with this um, textured, textured yarn. There was some uh, Spanish brand called Stop, Lana's Stop, um, Stop Wool, and they had a, um, a yarn that had this texture, and I had not seen it ever since. So I really loved it, and I bought this set. This is Teen Star. Christina does a great job. And this is 90% Superwash Merino and 10% Nylon. This is charcoal. It's got like some purple hues to it. Beautiful. And this is Leopard. I love animal print, as you might know. It's beautiful. So, Christina. If you have ordered from her, you will know she packs her yarn beautifully in this nice Ziploc bag with um, shredded pink paper and these postcards that says, Thank you for supporting our small business. Thank you. With love, Christina and Red Bank Mike. Really nice. And uh, I bought from my friend Kate, who is you need I die. I'm sorry if I don't say it right, my dear. Uh, I have lost the marker I wanted to show you that she sent me. Oh my god, I lost it. I don't know where I put it. But she sent me a firefly. It should be here. Um, I'm looking for it. Can't be. Oh, it's here. Okay. 
Kate. I don't know if Kate is from Belarus or from Latvia. I don't remember. I'm sorry, Kate. She lives in Boston with her husband. And look at that. So beautiful. I wanted to have like an off-white wall. This is not optical white. That's the color. That's the color. Perfect. And it's all natural. And this is 85% superwash merino extra fine and 50% 15% nylon. 100 grams. So I ordered two of those. And this color, which is great. And uh, this is the same. 85 superwash merino, 15% nylon, and it's called when life gives you lemon. You make lemonade. <laughs> so I am so happy with it. It's really soft, and she always sends you a thank you card. A beautiful thank you card. Handwritten by her. Thank you for shopping with me. Stay safe and healthy. Happy meeting, Kate. And she sent me a stitch marker. Look at that. My favorite firefly. Well, no, it's not a firefly. Firefly is luciérnaga in Spanish. I have forgotten the word for libélula. It's a dragonfly. Let me see. I'm going to look it up. I think I sometimes, sometimes words cross my mind in different languages. Okay, Luciérnaga, no, that's the firefly. Okay, uh, Libélula. Libélula. Dragonfly, yeah. It's a dragonfly. The firefly is the... I forgot the word in Spanish now. Well, you get the idea. It's this beautiful dragonfly. My favorite. Luciérnaga is the, the, the firefly. This is Libélula, the dragonfly. So, I hate flies, by the way. But I like dragonflies. Okay, so... I also got hand salve by Birds Bees. I'm sure you've tried it. It's really good if you haven't. I recommend you try it. We have like a lot of hand dry things going on, at least on my end. I clean a lot at home. I cook. I wash dishes. I mean, I do a lot of things with my hands. I work with my hands a lot. And on top of that, I knit and I craft. So, and I use a lot of, uh, we all use a lot of uh, alcohol now to clean our hands. So, that is getting our skin dry. So, I got the small tin on a package, and I love this. I have the small tin in my purse, and I got this one. Because, you know. I think that when you have the opportunity and the money to do things, you should do them. Like, if you have the money and the time, then you can travel. And if you have the money, the opportunity, and you want to buy something, buy it. That's uh, my philosophy because sometimes you don't have the time or the money or the energy. And uh, sometimes you need to wait for things to align for you to do things. So, yeah. I got my Knit Lockers, the Mindful Connect Collection. I It has mandalas. I love this. I saw this at the McKinney Meadery. I visited McKinney Meadery um, to buy yarn. I'm sorry about the changes in the light. I think it's because it's the uh, thunderstorm is outside. So, I am very, very happy with this product. Uh, Ginger, the owner of the store, she's a doll. She's so nice. And the ladies who work with her, they're very, very nice. 
So I finally got my blockers. No more pins for me. So I am super happy with them. And I'm sure I will enjoy them a lot. And it has big ones and smaller ones. And the beautiful box. And okay, so uh, I am going to show you. Let's leave my kinemeter for to the end. I have one more to show you. Vita Lifestyle from Victoria Ida. She's a former designer for a brand. I don't know which brand, I don't know what she designed. But she said goodbye to her day job and she has her store now, her yarn store, her online yarn store. She sells soap and candles as well. They look yummy. I have not bought buy them but uh, I have I I have seen them and they look amazing. And look at this color. It's called Leather Boots. I saw it and I was instantly in love. It is coming through more yellow than it actually is, but it's like this color right here. So I saw it, it was amazing, and I had to have it. And this is 75% superwash merino and 25% nylon. I personally prefer superwash wools. Uh, no shame if you prefer other wool, that's okay. Um, because I live in this weather, tropical, and I think this is because of the treatment the yarn has received. I think it's more, um, it's, it's not that, that hot to put it some way. It's easier for me to care for because I can throw it into a washer. And I think it doesn't doesn't stretch as much so and it doesn't make any balls that's very important I am like I hate balls so yeah like my Agustin jacket that Luma yarn it's a dream but I don't hate that it makes balls and by the way I don't know if I was I was thinking if I should write that pattern or not one, because it's so difficult for me to find testers. It's not that I'm not going to keep on designing, but I would like to have more people, you know, uh, being able and wanting to test. And I am talking about getting one person to test a pattern is difficult for me. So, yeah, but still, you know, I did that cardigan with drop shoulder, but I did a pop sleeve. So the pop sleeve starts here and not here. And I could redo that, but I would have to at least knit that part. And I'm not sure I want to do that. And if no one else needs it, I would have to need another sample for it to show the change on the pop. And I don't want to do that. Not because I don't love it, but because I want to do other things. So I am thinking I'm going to leave it as is and I am going to write the instructions. I could write the instructions not to do a pop sleeve and with the pop sleeve. I would really very much appreciate your comments about that and uh, your thoughts. What should I do? Write it only as a normal sleeve so that even with a drop shoulder it wouldn't show the difference. Or do it with a pop sleeve as it is because I've seen a lot of uh, designs like that in the wrong way so I'm thinking it's okay to have the pop here I like it I mean when I wear it I like it I like how it looks but I don't know if somebody else is going to like the pop to be here instead of at the top of your shoulder anyway that's the thing if you have any comments about that please leave them behind leave them down below i would love to read your thoughts about that okay so uh makini needery i bought um malabrigo i love this color i always wanted it and i love malabrigo for the quality you get for this yarn it's really cheap it's only 1950 of cane plus tax not bad um 
again the lighting but this is like a mustard yellow um, this is Frank Ochre And uh, this is fingering, and this is 100% superwash merino. I normally buy fingering weight yarn. I don't need with chunky yarns. The most is sport weight. Okay, so uh, then I have this. This is from Norway. line and it's sadness corn and this is an interesting combination this is 53% uh, bamboo 33% viscose and 14% linen it's really really soft I got four it's coming in a different shade it's not that pink it's more like I don't know it's too pink on the screen but it's very very nice look at the texture now now you can look at the color that's the color the texture is really nice and this is really really cool for this weather so I'm gonna do something with it I don't know what yet and um, I got this it's beautiful it's like um, I don't know it's that color it's like it has some purple hues to it but it's blue it's like chalk blue and it's called Chasky by Amano Yarns that's 60% Chasky this is 60% superwash merino and 30% Pima cotton and 10% linen. So soft. I love it. The color is beautiful. I have some clouds in this color. So I thought I could do something to match those skirts and dresses or, you know things that I already own and I got this one this is Iwi 2 yarns Iwi 2 yarns it's called trail mix fingering this is 60% organic cotton and 40% linen this is like a natural natural color really nice I uh, I don't think this has a color but it says hand painted nature inspired so it's not a natural color I mean it's not natural but it's natural color let me see yeah trail mix is the name of the color gorgeous very 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 much okay and then I'm gonna show you this one this is coming brighter on screen it's more like I don't know it's more like wine it's too pink on screen right now too pink yeah it's still too pink but it's like more wine but it's Gorgeous. This is Agua by Amano. This is 55% baby alpaca, 26 merino wool, 26% merino, and 19% pima cotton. It's beautiful. And they only had one skein, so I got a cake top for me. But I asked Ginger, the owner, to get me the other skein, and she said, of course, and I will send it to you, I will mail it to you. I love that you can do that in the States. So she mailed it to me. And last but not least, I bought some crazy yarn. You know, I adore this yarn. 
I love the fact that they are not any skein are like the other. These were two that I picked that looked alike. They looked more alike when they were um, in skein. But when they put them into cakes, this is what I got. And I don't know what I will do with any of these yarns, but I am loving them. And these, as you might already know, this is, excuse me, this is crazy. And this is 100% fine wool. This is from Stonehenge Fiber Mill. And this is to ply sport. And I have needed a, a small shawl, like a hanker, like a big handkerchief with this already. And it's a dream. I loved it. Um, so, yeah. That is the end of my stash positions. I thank you so much for stopping by and for watching. And I hope I will see you again soon. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And uh, stay well. Bye.